three coaches at Auburn now. One, I guess, what have you thought of Hugh so far now that you're getting into fall camp? And, and two, kind of what's kept you at Auburn through all these different coaching staff changes? Uh, I think he's doing a really good job uh, just focusing on the details and building that culture, getting everybody to buy in. Uh, lots of new guys, so just building those relationships has been really important. Um, what's kept me at Auburn, uh, I, I just love Auburn. They say that if you love Auburn, Auburn will love you back, and I've really felt that and seen it firsthand. So um, I, I'm just a really first uh, hard work first guy, so like it says in the creed. So um, I just wanted to, to fight through it and, and keep keep persevering. And, uh, I think I'm seeing the results of that now. How has it loved you back? What'd you say? How has it uh, loved you back? Uh, just the love I received, man, the fans, the atmosphere, just, just being in that community, bro, you feel it all the time. So uh, it's it's been really fun. What's this experience mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Just It's an honor to be here and, and that they felt like I was the one who, who represented the Auburn man, that, that they wanted to represent the Auburn family. And uh, it, it's an honor. I've had great coaches and teammates and, and family members, and I wouldn't be here without without all of them, without God. So. Did you ever imagine yourself doing this? Uh, as an offensive lineman, you kind of put those things out of your head until they actually happen. So uh, I just kind of just worked hard every day. And, and then whenever they, they told me that I was going to be the guy, I was just honored again. It's a it's a great experience. So so you didn't want to do it, maybe in the back of your mind, but you didn't actually. No, nah, yeah. Out. Whenever you play offensive line, you get kind of used to not getting the recognition and the and the getting to do things like these. So to be to be an offensive lineman, to be one of these guys that gets to come up here and do this, it's, it's an honor. And I guess I mean the offensive line unit, you are one of a very small number of guys on it that actually have experience with Auburn in the past. How has that meshed so far with mm -hmm. all these new faces? Yeah, so uh, with all the new guys, just building chemistry has been really big, getting to know each other. Um, that's, a, that's a big part of offensive line play in general. So uh, and whenever you have so many new dudes on the team, it's, it's, another, it's another key thing. So uh, we, we've been doing, we spend a lot of time together, going and doing things together, uh, getting work on the field together. So uh, I think we'll be good. How, how has that room along since the spring? I mean, you added the guy in Muskie and you, you Mm -hmm. You guys love you, How it's, it's coming together really well. I think we all mesh well. We all we all complement each other, and and uh, I'm just really excited to, to continue to work with those dudes for the next couple of weeks during the summer, and then taking into camp and into the season. Getting the guys over in Georgia are getting to have Mike Bobo and him running mm -hmm. the offense. Just what, what do you remember about working with him? Like, you know, uh, really good guy, man. I love Coach Bobo. Uh, he did a really good job, and uh, I'm I'm excited for them. They, they get to they get to work with him. What advice would you give the players just about what they can expect in working with you? Uh, just, just focus on the details. Work really hard, and, and he's going to see that, and uh, that you'll be successful. Speaking of Georgia, I mean, you've gotten you know, the opportunity to go against guys like Jalen Carter and, mm -hmm. and that massive defensive line. I mean, what are you kind of expecting from them again this year? Uh, Face them once again. Yeah, uh, they've always got a good team. They're they're always coached really well, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm excited to go up against them and, and get some work. It'll be fun. Yeah. What what's the biggest improvement you've made in your game the last couple of years? You've gotten more playing time. Mm -hmm. uh, I think with that experience, just the game slows down a lot for you, and just focusing on the details and the the small intricate details of each play. Uh, whenever you play for six years, you you start to start slowly figure out the, the little things that, that come with each play and why they work and those kind of things. So uh, just focusing on the details, the track of the back, the, what the quarterbacks are reading, stuff like that, all that stuff helps you be more successful on each play. So Was there ever a moment where it did feel like it was slowing down compared to, you know, maybe earlier? Mm -hmm. Uh, for sure, last last spring, I think, uh, not this past one, but the one before that, I think, was whenever I started to realize that things were starting to slow down for me and, and then I was starting to get into a little groove. And I imagine that kind of coincides with just your increase in uh, uh, playing time. Mm -hmm. well. Yeah. You see the field more, I'm sure, probably helps you yeah. find that. For sure. How do you get the details? I mean, is, is there, like, I guess, was there a play maybe where you noticed it? If you could think back, if there was a moment? Uh. I don't think necessarily a, a specific play, but um, just throughout the spring, it, and it got better, and it's continuing to get better as each as each uh, practice, as each workout, um, just little by little, every day, one percent. I, I do also have have one other follow up question on you, kind of being at media days, the the suit choice, suit like shoe choice, kind of what went into to uh, to uh, the look for today. Yeah, so we had some guys come in and, and help us pick out our suits, and they, uh, they custom fit them for us and got us right. So uh, I, I just got these shoes, and I thought they went with the suit pretty well, so I decided to wear them. Um, but, yeah, not, not too much thought went into it, but they, they definitely helped me out some with the, with the details of it. Patrick had a, a, a 
Yeah, yeah so they, they usually get us one every year. Uh, so being as old as I am, I've got I've gathered up a, gathered up a couple of them. <laughs> Really, really good guy. He's doing a really good job of, of communicating with us and, and giving us those tools to be successful on the O-line. Whenever you've got some older guys, you, you have a little bit more freedom of, of things you can do and calls we can make on our own and, and just using those tools to help us be successful on the field. So he's done a really good job. Anybody this summer that's jumped out to you, work at the flies, or anything you said, hey, this guy's a surprise if you lose anybody that comes to uh, on the offensive line, I say I think everybody's doing a really good job, and we're, they're all going to have the opportunity to play. Young dude coming in, I think Connor Blue is going to be incredible, man. Uh, I, I said that earlier in the year. Um, so whenever he, I mean, I think he can play this year, but I think especially once he gets in that weight room a little bit more and, and starts to develop, he's going to be really good. Cam, what have you seen from Dan Floyd since he arrived on campus? He's doing a really good job. Um, he, he's doing a good job leading all three of those guys back there, doing a really good job. Um, see all of them out there uh, getting extra work and, and coming together. Um, just That's going to be a really fun spot. <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't think you get to this this level of coaching if, if you don't have some sort of credibility. I think he's done a really good job so far, and um, I'm excited to continue to see how, how he works us and, and pushes us to be successful. Is there something that you've been around him why he's been so successful or something about him mm. that gets a team, sort of elevates a team? Uh, just focusing on the details and then the, uh, the, the uh, being appreciative of every opportunity we get, waking up in the morning and, and being glad we get to go to workouts and we get to do those type of things. Whenever you get to this this level, sometimes people start to get less, lack, lazy that, uh, I can't say the word, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> yeah, lackadaisical. And uh, you start to not be appreciative of, of the things that you have. So um, just being grateful for every opportunity is, is one big thing he's, he's been uh, big on. Do you get a sense that he has a high level of gratitude to be back in this position? For sure. He kind of had it and lost it. Mm -hmm. He's back here again. For sure. That he shows up every day with a great attitude. He's always coaching us hard and, and pushing us. So I'm really appreciative of that. What do you see from some of these transfers that have come in? Dylan Wade, Avery Jones, Turner mm -hmm. They're they're all really good. Um, I think I don't think Dylan uh, Dylan's lost a pass rep all spring uh, that I saw. Uh, Avery Jones is really doing a good job of communicating and and uh, uh, commanding us around at the center position. And um, I mean all of those dudes, man. Uh, they're all doing a really good job. I think guys that come in after spring and they're just kind of working out with you guys. Is that, mm -hmm. You're a leader on this team. Is it kind of your job to take them under your wing, make sure they know what they need to be ready for this fall? Yeah, for sure. But I think around the team we have a standard, so it doesn't all uh, uh, lean on me. I try to do my part and and hold the, hold the people accountable and, and do those type of things. But I think around as in in the program we have a standard of of what we do, and um, I think those guys feel that when they come in and and we help them out and and get it done. Going up against this defensive line, a lot of new faces there. Mm -hmm. Who's standing out on that front point? I feel like Justin Jones has gotten like six feet taller and like 40 pounds heavier. He's impossible to move. Justin Rogers is, is really good. He's doing a really good job. Marcus Harris is a really consistent guy. He's doing a really good job. Um, all those dudes over there, are, those are the dudes I go up against the most, but I think everybody over there is working really hard and, and doing a really good job. Cam, I think you were on the last over team to win the Iron Bowl. What would it take to get that done this year and with the help that's at home? Um, I think I think Jordan Harris is one of the toughest places to play in, this, in the in the country. I think the toughest place to uh, play in the country at its peak. So uh, that definitely uh, gives us some confidence. But just showing up every day and, and taking advantage of each opportunity. Um, we're we're focused on these next two weeks of summer, and then we'll we'll take it one game at a time. And when we get there, we'll we'll be excited for that game. Cam, you made mention of your leadership responsibility. Mm -hmm. Let's talk specifically about again you uh, and how you. I guess, how you communicate with your teammates. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in the O-line specifically, we do a really good job of leading each other. So uh, there's there's not too much. Obviously, we call each other out whenever there's something that's not right. And, and if I do something that's, that's not right, they're calling me out too. So um, just leading each other, a player-led team, is that's what helps you win games. So uh, I think all around, it's, it's been really good doing that. What are your thoughts on Texas? 
uh, I'm excited about it. I think they're gonna they're gonna be uh, it's a good opportunity for everybody to to get better and play against some good competition. They're, they always have a good team. They're well coached, and uh, I think it'll be really good for the conference. Following up on a locker room leadership has a has have any of the coaches talked to you guys after the like, question situation were you able to follow that at all and, and i guess have you, you know, as a leader kind of mm. keep an eye out for stuff like that? no yeah i don't i don't really have any information for on that so If a situation like hazing were to come in the locker room, I guess, what, generally, like, how do you as locker room leaders yeah. kind of keep, um, you know, like, you know, try to keep, like, the mm -hmm. culture in there, I guess, to us? I mean, like, that doesn't we, we're all really close. We have a really good relationship with each other, so um, we don't really have an issue with anything like that, so. But, and, and that wasn't, like, this, uh, that wasn't, like, like a mm -hmm. team discussion. Yeah. Appreciate you. Sam, I know y'all have got to practice with each other yet, but y'all added Jaden into the room after mm -hmm. the spring ball. What do you think he's going to provide to, to y'all on that offensive line? Mm -hmm. uh, he's doing a really good job. He's, he's a quick guy. He does really good in pass pro. He can run block. Um, real, I mean, consistent guy. He's working really hard. So um, I think he'll definitely provide us some some, some depth and, and some playing time in that position. And uh, I look forward to working with him and, and getting after it. What's it been like, you know, a lot of been in Auburn for a while. There's mm -hmm. always been a lot of questions about offensive line. Coming out of spring, everybody was talking about how much it has improved. Mm -hmm. how, how different does this kind of feel for your, for this group? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it feels good. Everybody's just, just. To, I mean, we put in a lot of work, so for for that hard work to, to be paying off and for everybody to be be able to have the opportunity to be successful, it, it's exciting. So uh, we're just going to continue to take it week by week and, and get after it. What do you think the toughest environment to play in is in the SEC aside from the Jordan Hare? No, yeah, I gotta say Jordan Hare at first. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't think there's anything better than that in the SEC. The Florida game, I think I was a redshirt freshman, redshirt sophomore that year when we played Florida. In Florida, that was a that was a pretty loud game. Uh, I think I gotta give them the props for that one. Um, and another one, what do you tell a freshman or transfer coming in is about the SEC and the level of play? It's a little bit different here than any other conference. Uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely different whenever you come to the SEC. I mean, it's, it's the best athlete. It's the best competitiveness. So uh, you got to be on your A game. you got to work hard. you got to be ready to go out there because, I mean, if you don't, you know, everybody else is. So. Has Peyton or any of the QBs who you ask you about what it's like as they come in? Yeah, we have we have conversations and stuff about that sometimes. I'm, I'm, they're all really good players, so uh, I don't think they're too worried about the competition. But um, definitely, we give them pointers and talk about guys that we know that they haven't seen or played against yet, stuff like that. Sorry, you already got to ask this, but this guy here. What was your initial thought when when he agrees about the Auburn job and knowing you know, his background mm -hmm. and his success in this? No, yeah, definitely excited about it. Um, he's a great guy, great coach. He's been doing a really good job. Of focusing on the details and, and uh, getting everybody to buy in. Uh, he's, he's had successful offenses, so I'm excited to play in it. And he's obviously beaten Alabama a couple mm -hmm. times. Yeah. He's not supposed to beat Alabama. <laughs> um, what, what does that mean to you guys, you considering not the obvious rival? Either? Yeah, um, I mean, that's that's obviously our biggest rival, so uh, definitely excited about that and, and getting to work with him. Cam, you was talking to us earlier about alignment. He said that, that he, he figures that's probably coming up. Uh, in the recruiting trail from mm. other coaches, talking about Auburn, saying Auburn's not aligned or doesn't have his stuff together. You, you don't have to name a coach or anything, but did that ever happen when you were getting recruited? Or is there maybe a rep that Auburn has to shake off? No, I, I mean, I, I think we're all on the same page, working hard together and building those relationships. So, Is, is alignment anything y'all talk about as a team? I mean, yeah, build, when it, especially when you have a lot of new guys just getting to know each other and, and building those relationships, being all on the same page is, is really important. So. This, I mean, we, we have meetings, we, we get to know each other, we tell each other each other's stories, and, and whenever you know those type of things, that makes you play harder for your teammates. So, I mean, that's definitely something we, we enjoy doing. Do you think it's any better? I mean, not just with the team, but obviously like administration mm -hmm. and all that. I mean, do you think it's, would you say it's better now than before, or, or is it like just a, a bad rep you want to shake off? Uh, I mean, it's just something we're always working on, sure. always trying to get better at, so. Elijah, he's an interesting guy. He plays Andy all those years. Now he's with you guys. I don't know if you got to know him very well. I know you're on other mm -hmm. sides of the ball. But what do you thought about him and the fact he's here in media days? Even though yeah. He's a newcomer. No, he's done a really good job stepping up. Um, since day one when he came in, he's been a leader. He's been vocal, and um, I'm really excited to get to play with him and, and go out there and compete with him in the fall. Cause he's a heck of a player. 
numbers kind of flying under the radar, relatively speaking, to what expectations usually are. But I know you guys have a lot of talent, you have a good coaching staff. What do you, what do you think are reasonable expectations, or do you like maybe being being a little off the radar nationally? We're just going to take it one game at a time and, and take advantage of the opportunities in front of us. Uh, you know, we we got two more weeks left of summer, two and a half weeks, and then we're getting ready to gear up for camp. So uh, just working hard and getting after every day. And then when we get to the fall, we'll we'll take it one game at a time there, one week at a time there. Hey, when you've gone through a few different coaches last time, what's the process when you have a new coordinator, mm -hmm. getting used to them and getting used to the scheme? What goes into that? I think the biggest thing is just the uh, terminology. Um, whenever you play six years of football, the, the players are, especially the offensive line, you got inside zone, you got outside zone, you got pass pro, all those types of things, counter power. But I think the terminology and, and getting to know the small details of how they want the, the interest, intricacies of each play to be, um, that's the biggest thing. How much is there in the also factors as other players mentioned this, of the, simply getting to know each other, like players meeting coaches and vice versa? Mm -hmm. Is that maybe the biggest key to it all, like understanding how the people are hired? Yeah, for sure. Um, especially when you have a lot of new dudes, just being on the same page, building those relationships. Uh, for O-line, that's really big because, I mean, we can make calls. We can do things on our own. If, if we see something, we can change up and, and get those things handled. Um, so the coaches give us, give us those tools and, and help us build those relationships, and then it's on us to go out there and use them. Is there a general timeline for when you feel like things are like coordinator or is it going to change? I guess it, it kind of changes depending on depending on who it is. I think we've done a really good job, and I think uh, I think we felt that during the spring. I think we felt things starting to click, and so uh, I'm just excited to get back out there during the fall and keep working at it and, and get it get it smooth, and get it going. How would you describe uh, Hugh's personality? Uh, he, he's a really opportunistic guy, really uh, really positive. He comes in every day, he's ready to work, and uh, he, he's always pushing that on us, being being grateful for our opportunities and, and getting ready to work and, and taking advantage of every day we get. Cam, who are some guys in, in summer workouts, maybe some under the radar guys, mm -hmm. just guys you've noticed in the weight room who's impressed you? Yeah, uh, I said I said for for me, I see I see Connor Lou every day, so he's a, he's a young guy that I think's gonna be really good for sure. It seems like he's got a lot of tools. What, oh, what yeah. is it about him that you think projects well? Really smart guy, really strong. He, he's a younger dude. He, he's kind of smaller right now, but I think especially once he starts getting developed, I think he can play some this year. But I think as he gets more developed, he's gonna be one of those guys for sure. Thank you. Uh, taking the, one more question, and then we have to go. Taking the focus away from football really quick. Got you. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes or no, <laughs> and why? Uh, I'm gonna say no, because I feel like you have like sub sandwiches and stuff. Those aren't. I guess those are sandwiches. Um, I feel like it has to be two independent pieces of bread though for it to be a sandwich. So. It's the best answer I've heard all day. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.